my G. What is happening, everybody? It what is up? that time again. It's Friday. It's hot outside. We got the Crucible logo behind us. And you know what that means? It means it's Crucible TV time. It means we are ready to rock. We're ready to roll. And we are going to be bringing a little bit of energy. We're going to be bringing a little bit of, of knowledge and a little bit of wisdom today. And uh, we got a special guest with us today. She's running around. I don't Trouble know if she'll, she'll pop on here, but my daughter is running around. So if you, if you hear a little, uh, a little shouting and yelling, just my daughter running around. We might catch a, a medicine ball upside the head here in a, uh, in a second. Here, come here, girlfriend. Come say hi. Come say, can you come say hi to the world? Come here. Ugh. There we, there she is. Can you say hi? Hi. There we go. There we go. Ailey, what's happening? What's happening, Ailey? We are rocking and rolling today, and we're going to be talking about this whole idea of re-emerging again. But on this re-emergence idea, there's going to be a lot of times that we begin to start telling ourselves lies. We're going to tell ourselves lies of why we can or can't do something. We're going to have all this self-doubt come in and we're going to expose some of the biggest lies that it is that we begin to start telling ourselves. You know, I look at my daughter here and she runs around and she, she doesn't have a, a doubt in her mind, right? She just says, I want to go do this. And she goes and does it, don't you? You just go and get in all kinds of trouble. But that's what I want you guys to continue to do. I want you to kind of start trying to find a way that we can start going back to this mindset. How do we go back to this childhood mindset that before anybody else gets in our own head, in our head, before we start taking on the self-doubt that other people might tell us, saying, you know what, hey, you can't do that because of this, or you can't do that because of that. I want you to go back to this mindset, because right now she doesn't have a single doubt in the world. We haven't gotten in her head, or somebody hasn't gotten in her head, and, and, and she hasn't grabbed hold of the lies that so many, many of us hold on to, right? I had a coach when I was young saying, hey, you're too small, all right? Or you're not good enough and all these things. You hold on to those and it affects you. So I want us to go back to this mindset. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, getting into it. We see all you guys popping on here. Pam, I see you. On. Justin, what's happening? Big dog. Drew, I see you. So got anything to say real fast before we start off, Jess? Got anything? Let's go. Hey, I'll, I, ch I do. It's been an awesome week at Crucible. It's been an amazing yeah, been. week. There's been so many wins. I mean, Absolutely. from PRs being set today yeah, to, to draft picks to all kinds. I, I got a message from a, uh, one of our athletes throwing a got an MVP of her tournament in Kentucky. Like, I feel like there's just all kinds of wins right now. A lot of wins. A lot just of wins going on. Grateful to be celebrating it with you guys. There we go. And that's the truth. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is the truth and some of the lies. So one of the first lies that we hold on to, we're just going to go over two today. We're going to go over two, but the first of which, the first of which is that I'm not blank enough. And you guys get to put, insert your blank because there's so many of them that we will tell ourselves and say, hey, I can't do this because I'm not strong enough. I mean... That, that's not possible for this guy. He's plenty strong. But I'm not smart enough. I'm not, you know, big enough. I'm not, what is it? I'm not anything enough, right? I, we start to fall into that trap. And most often, we kind of covered it here at the beginning, so often that lie, that lie gets put into our head by somebody else. We, we listen to a coach. We listen to uh, a parent. We listen to a friend. I'm gonna say a friend, right? And we begin to hold on to that message and we begin to believe that lie. That wasn't our thought, that wasn't our belief, but we, we heard it and we said, you know what, maybe they're right. Maybe they're right, maybe I'm not strong enough. Maybe I am too small. Maybe uh, it's not possible for me to do this because I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I don't know enough, whatever that lie is. I wanna let you know, you are enough already, right? You as a person are enough. You are worthy of the success you want to have. You are able and capable. Now, does that mean that we don't need to go learn anything else? No. Does that mean that uh, we, we don't need to get stronger or that we don't need to do all those things? No, that doesn't mean that we don't need to do those things. But you already, as you are, as a person, are enough, are enough. 
I'm not pushing myself up. Yeah, buddy, there we go. Ailey, you can do anything you put your mind That's to. Right. Isn't That's that the right. truth? I like that. That's I like true. that, Ailey. What do you got, Jess? I, I think something, too, it's like, you know, that it may sound cringy saying this, but the only person that can really put a limit on you is you. Yeah. Um, and it, it really does go to, like, who you surround yourself with. Yeah. If, if you have someone that you're really fired up about, but then whenever you talk about it with your friends or even sometimes, you're, you know, and they, t they kind of shut it down, it's like... Yeah. You know, that's stuff that you're constantly being fed. So, you know, like, find somebody that gets fired up about you being fired up about something yeah. and, and surround, surround yourself with those kind of people right there for real. Absolutely. So, line number one, I'm not blank enough, right? And if you want to, type in, what is that lie that you tell yourself? And you'll probably be surprised. Type it into the comments. Go ahead and shine a light on it. Yeah, it's a, what, shine a light on it. What expose are you telling it. yourself that you're not? That's the first step you gotta what is do. It? You gotta expose it, whatever that may be. You gotta expose it and you gotta put it out there and then surround yourself with people that are gonna be able be able to help you with that. But the, the first thing we gotta do is shine a light. Shine a light on the darkness. Can because, I, can I share something ahead. with Crucible, go ahead. Crucible go ahead. family right now? There is something and since always I'll say I'm not organized. I am mm. messy. And this guy right here, he's pushing me. He's That's pushing right. me like no other. That's he's right. like, he's like, Jess, you can do this. You're organized. You're clean. Go yeah. clean out your car. You're yeah. just telling yourself you're not. Jess, you're gonna really leave the gym, leaving the leaving the desk <laughs> like that? Come on, right. get your mind right. You know what I mean? So it, it takes it takes that team. Find that person that's gonna like hold you accountable to whatever you're telling mm -hmm. yourself you're not. Yep. And um Absolutely. Yeah. We got in here. I'm not good enough. Yeah, Ailey. Mm. Hey, I can't tell you how many times I've said that, right, to myself about anything. But but pause and think about, like, what does that even mean? Mm. Like, that's just a blanket statement to, to beat ourselves up a lot of times, right? We just like to beat ourselves good enough. Like, but what does that even mean? I'm not good enough at at what? At what? Let's get specific with it. Because when we get specific with it, then we can start making a plan for how we're going to improve at that. Thing, right so I'm not good enough at running okay guess what now we have a battle plan we're gonna go get better at running right I'm not good enough at jumping or throwing or lifting weight what schoolwork schoolwork listening I'm not good enough at reading I'm not good enough at pushing myself whatever that is right but when you define exactly what that enough is that good enough at blank, then we can start making that battle plan and saying, you know what? Now I can go get after it. I can make a plan. I can have a destination in mind, and I can all of a sudden say, hey, I'm going to start taking those baby steps. I'm going to tar start taking baby steps to make that happen. And, and it really gets me excited too, because whenever you say like, all right, like this is the thing that I feel, I feel right. We're talking emotions that I am not enough at. And it's mm -hmm. like, boom, right there. What's the wristband say, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Cherish the challenge. That's right. So right there, you're exposing a challenge right there. Yeah, buddy. And, you know, we're a little bit different where we get excited about challenges because that's where we grow and that's where we get better. So, yeah, yeah expose it. Say it. Ailey, right there, I'm going to get better at working hard. I love that. Look at that. We're making progress right now on an IG Facebook Live. <laughs> I'm going to get better at working hard. So then what do we do? We then take small little steps each and every day. What is the little thing that I'm going to work hard at? How am I going to get myself out of the comfort zone today? How am I going to do just a little bit better today at working hard? Maybe it's I'm going to go on a five-minute run, and because <laughs> I wish you could see this, my daughter is coming over here with a, a huge bucket of balls trying to struggle, but perfect example. She didn't have a doubt in her mind that she was going to do this. But we're going to pick something. I'm going on a five-minute run today, but you're going to choose to do it for six minutes. Just that little bit extra, just that to extra prove 1%. to yourself that you can do a little bit better. That's all it takes. Let's do little increments. And then tomorrow, guess what? You're going to go on a six-minute run, but you're going to choose. You're going to choose to do it for seven minutes. Right? You're going to choose to always do just that little bit extra because that's what you are choosing. That is what you're getting good at. And guess what? When you start practice and flex in that work hard muscle, you're all of a sudden going to be able to do it all the time. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. She's bringing me, bringing me all kinds of toys. I love having guests on here. Curious. So there She's we go. Curious. Drew, absolutely. That is such a good one right there. When you re-merge, you have to reevaluate some things. And that's not always a bad thing. That's exactly what we talked about last week week so you are right on Mason I'm not good enough at hitting there we go I'm up 
I am upping my run speed by 0.5. Get out of the comfort zone. There we go. That's Look at this. Great. See, we're making this happen. We're making this happen right now. So again, I'm not good enough at hitting. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We could dive even deeper. Okay, I'm not good enough at hitting. Well, what part of hitting? Hitting's all inclusive, right? I'm not good at hitting the curveball. I'm not hit good at hitting the off-speed pitch or the fastball or an outside pitch or the inside. Okay. Then we can start working at that specific thing. So Mace, I'm proud of you. Get specific and let's keep digging down into That's what is that thing. But then the most powerful word that I want you to, to start saying and getting used to saying, if we start say, thinking this, thinking, thinking, three letters, yet. I'm not good at hitting yet. I am not good at hitting the outside pitch yeah. yet. I'm mean. not good at lifting weights yes. yet. I'm not good at being blah yet. yet. That is one of the most beneficial words that you can just store into that head and give yourself that confidence saying, you know what? I'm not, I'm not there yet. And guess what? You're probably never gonna be where you wanna be because as soon as you're able to hit that outside pitch or you're able to up your, your run speed by 0.5 miles an hour, I know y'all, y'all, because you're on here, Y'all are wanting to get better constantly and consistently. So guess what? You're gonna be able to hit the outside pitch. Oh man, my daughter's She's moving the camera. She's going crazy. As soon as you can do it, guess what you're gonna wanna do? Next. Next, I wanna get even faster. You know what, then you're gonna say, you know what, I'm going 0.7 faster on my run right. speed. I'm going one mile an hour faster, but that's what it takes. And that's that consistent, con that, that is cherish the challenge. That is crucible performance. Once you get used to the heat, you turn up the heat. You, once you get used to that, you turn up the heat. That's exactly it right you keep there. keep looking for that next challenge. Looking for that next challenge. Did you know, uh, speaking of Mason, you know I saw Mason Fry at 7-Eleven um, um, this weekend. Oh, boy. Getting a free Slurpee. Free, free Slurpees on 7-Eleven. There we go. So there we go. New favorite word yeah. yet. I love that. There we go. Maldonado, I see you. So line number one, I'm not blank enough. But how are we doing that? How are we fixing that? We're shining a light on it, and then we're adding our new favorite word, yet. And then the second biggest lie, and I think this one, this is one of those sneaky ones. This is one of the sneakiest lies that we tell ourselves. It is, I have time. I have the time to do it, okay? More than likely, you think you have more time than you actually do. And I'm just gonna get real with you, all right? Time, Time is always gonna win. Time is always gonna win. It is always going to outlast you. But what do we do? I'll do it later. I've got time. I'll do it then or tomorrow because I've got time. Guess what? Tomorrow is always here, right? Tomorrow is always here. That's always in the future. You're always gonna have a tomorrow. We gotta get good at saying, you know what? I've gotta do it today. I've got to do it today, I've got to do it right now. And everybody always thinks about life as being a marathon, right? I've got all this time, I've got all this time, it's a marathon and I'm just gonna cruise at my pace. But let me tell you something, right? I want you to think about this. Have you ever tried running a marathon or have you ever tried running a mile? Go try to run a mile at a five minute pace. Can you do that? Can you run a mile at a five minute pace? A lot of us can't do that. But guess what? Marathoners, they're doing that sub five minute pace for 26 miles. That's incredible. For 26 miles. So do you think that they're just out for a leisurely stroll? Or is it a constant sprint? They're just doing a 26 mile sprint. That's right. Ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 26 mile sprint. So I don't want you to think about life being just this long, let me take my pace. No, it's a sprint and we gotta go. We don't know how much time we have. And that's the scary thing, but that's the exciting thing because we have to get that body, that booty into gear and say, you know what? If I'm gonna leave a legacy, if I'm gonna do all these things that I'm trying to do, I've gotta work with urgency. I'm not, I'm not a good enough hitter uh, on that outside pitch yet, but I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow to figure out how to be that. I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna start figuring it out today. I'm not gonna wait to figure out how to uh, you know, run a business better. I'm gonna start figuring out how to do it today. I'm not gonna wait to say, man, I've got so much on my heart and I wanna share it 
with people. So we're going to get Crucible TV back started. I'm not going to wait till next month. We'll do it we're going to do it today. Today. I think a couple things too is, right, like one thing that you told me and I hear you tell it to a lot of the athletes, Rai, is start acting like it now, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, oh, I, I have big goals to, you know, I hear a lot of different goals to like play ball at a big league level, right? Yeah. Well, start acting like it now. And if you're waiting for tomorrow, it's like, oh, I can get there. I got time to get there. Yeah. You're not really acting like it now. Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? Um, and also, too, I don't know if you guys know this um, um, this this quote, but it's just funny because it's from Rocky Three. I don't know if you know Apollo Creed, how he, love Rocky. he's training Rock, and he says, there is no tomorrow, Rock. That's just it's what right. comes to my brain right there. But, um, yeah, start start acting like it now. Don't yep. wait till tomorrow to, to step into those shoes you were designed to walk in. Start stepping into them right now. Start acting like whatever it is. Maybe it's that big league player. Start acting like it now. Maybe it's that owner of that business. Start acting like it now. Whatever mm -hmm. it may be, yep. start acting like it now. I think um, what it, I saw, I heard something too. Was it Matthew McConaughey? He said, who's, who's he chasing? Yeah. Himself 15 years later. You yep. know what I mean? That's yep. the person that he's chasing. So That's right. Act as if. That's what we like to say yeah. all the time. Act as if you are already that pro. Just like that, Mike. Exactly it. Act as if. If you want to be a professional baseball player, start acting like a professional baseball player now. Nothing says you have to wait to act like one. So if they're, if they're throwing every day or if they're stretching or if they're getting their sleep or if they're weight training or if they're – start acting like that now. Learn from them. If you want to be um, – you know, if you want to be lose weight, you want to lose 10 pounds. Okay, what do people that lose 10 pounds do? Man, they, they start, they, they do these things. They're eating right, they're exercising, they're getting their hydration, they're sleeping, they're doing all those things. What they're not doing, what they're not doing is, is giving themselves those little cheats and it, saying, here's the game plan, but I'm going to start tweaking it, right? I'm, and, and see what I can get away with or how I can hack this and make this a little bit easier. Guess what? Winning is not easy. Success is not easy. It takes a lot of hard, nasty, gritty, grindy work. That's just the truth. The truth. That's the truth. the truth. You know what? We just added a third lie that we tell. Right there. We just added a third lie into it. What do we tell ourselves? That success is easy. That winning is easy. That I just have to that just show up. No, showing up. That's just like That's just minimal. checking a box. That's like minimum. Like showing up has half the battle? No, it's not. Like that's just like getting to the door. Like mm -hmm. it, it, showing up is just like minimal. Like you've got to actually do the work. You've got to take the time to work. You've got to take the time to plan out where you're going. You've got to take the time to like actually do all the nasty, grindy, gritty stuff, right? Like so we just, we just added a third one, that winning is easy or that success is easy. No, like life has gotten pretty easy because we have a lot of good stuff going on in life, mm -hmm. but it's, it, it's still hard. Winning's hard, right? It's, very hard. it's hard, and it's hard to repeat it. Consistent right? winning is even harder. So there we go. We just added a third one. Rebecca, I like that quote. Here's another good quote. Kung Fu Panda. Yesterday Ooh, has I'm passed. Panda. Tomorrow is the future. Today is a gift, as it is the present. There we go. I love Kung Fu Panda. That just gave me some chills right there. Kung Fu Panda had a, had a good little message there. Chinese so there we say. go. The lyrics to the Beatles song yesterday. Everyone needs to listen to that everyone now and then. Amen. Oh, I love that song. Anybody, some of these guys probably don't even know who the Beatles are, Mike. So there we go. What that, are you trying to say? I'm what just saying. Trying, what are you trying? I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. I'm actually impressed by your, your lyrical knowledge. But there we go. Those were our two but then we added a third, lies. I'm not blank enough, right? We lie or tell ourselves all the time about why we can or can't achieve things because of why I can or can't do something. Number two, that you have the time. I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't have enough time. You don't have enough time and I want you to start living that way. I want you to live life like it's a sprint and then you're gonna recover and then you're gonna sprint again and you're gonna recover and you're gonna sprint again and you're gonna work hard because, again, just being honest, we don't know how much time we have. We don't. We, we assume that we have all this extra time out there, but guess what? We, have no idea. We, we don't. That's what we just saw over 2020. So many people didn't expect 2020 for it to be it for them. And like, we, we, we just don't know. So I want you to start living and acting as if you don't have the time.
because we don't know how much time we have. So I want you to start living with that intensity, with that passion, with that purpose of saying, you know what, if I'm going to leave a legacy, if I'm going to do these things, I'm going to get after it now, not tomorrow. I'm going to get after it today, starting today. And there's not going to be any excuses about it. And then the third one, our third lie that we just added on the spot was that winning's easy or that success is easy and that it's just going to come if I just show up, right? No, you got to do a lot more than just show up. Showing up is just, that, that, that's just like minimal entry level. If you want to be successful, you got to, showing up isn't going to do good enough, right? Sh showing up is like Jesse said, just checking a box. Can we, can I piggyback on that? Piggyback. Winning, winning Get on my so. back. Piggyback. Let's go. Back. On his back. Let's go. Um, but they, we're reading this really cool book now. It's, it's mm. called Winning, mm. and it's by Tim Grover. He's, Tim the, Grover. he's the same tro trainer as for Michael Jordan and Kobe. Awesome. And um, it's just such Go a good read. book. And so he, good. He, they're asking folks what their definition of winning is in one mm. word. And most of them say, like, yeah. like, the average person would say, oh, amazing, euphoric, incredible, like, yeah. nice things. Which, at the when you win, it, it's nice. It feels great. But... They asked Michael and Kobe, and the, the adjectives they would use to describe it were um, uncivilized. Yeah. Uh, gritty. Gritty. Nasty. Nasty. Ugly. Ugly. Sweaty. Sweaty. I got them. I got them all. But, you know, back to this, you know, this cherish the challenge thing, it's like, that's cherish the challenge right there. That's all part of it. And, and I, want, I want you to catch yourself doing that tough thing today. Yep. Because every time you do that tough thing, you're winning. Yep. You're winning right there. And every time you rack up a win doing that tough thing, that should give you more confidence that you can keep doing it, yep. that you can keep doing that tough thing when it's not easy to do so. You can, you can do that challenge when it's not easy to do so. Yep. So, so success is not easy, yep. no, but do that tough thing. And every time, it's like a muscle, right? It's like training a muscle, yep. right? The, that cherish the challenge muscle. Every time, you, right, right now they might, um, that your muscles might have a little bit of atrophy. Hmm. You cherish That's the right. challenge muscles. That's right. But the more you train them, the stronger they're going to get. And the more you catch them getting stronger, the more confidence you're going to get winning and doing yeah. that tough thing. That's so. that, that CTC muscle right there. That CTC muscle. <laughs> that cherish the challenge muscle. We got to flex that. Where's that located? We, we got to. We got to. I don't even know. <laughs> we got to. We got to. Right there in the That's noggin. Right. In That's that that where mindset, it's at. There in, in the heart. Those ears. Let's right? go. That CTC muscle saying, you know what? I've got a tough decision to make and I'm not going to run from it, or I've got a, a tough set ahead, and I'm not going to take the easy way out, right? I don't feel like it today, but I'm going to do it anyways, right? That's that CTC muscle, that cherish the challenge muscle, that one that you're going to flex when you need to flex it the most, right? When everybody else says, eh, take the easy way out. You've done enough. Yeah, take, kick back, relax. You say, no, I've got too big of goals. I've got too big of dreams, because you wouldn't be on here if you didn't. You wouldn't be listening to this. Look at this. Look, she's bringing me over programs to write. So here, hop on up here and make sure you say goodbye. So here we go. We are going to log off. Mike, I see you. Tanner, I see you logging in there. Good to see you guys nice on time. here. So again, every Friday, we're going to be bringing more Crucible TV to you. And hey, let us know. What are your plans? What are your plans to flex your CTC muscle? I like that. I like that, the CTC muscle. How are you going to flex your CTC muscle? How are you going to challenge yourself this week? And how are you going to punch some of these lies in the face? How are we going to get rid of those lies? All right, guys? So, guys, we love y'all. We love y'all. And I am so, ah, I just feel so blessed to be able to hop so back blessed. on here so and blessed. connect with you guys. If there's ever anything we can do for you, please let us know. We'd love nothing more than to help serve you. If there's something that you would love for us to cover on here, because we got some ideas, mm -hmm. but we want to serve you. If there's simple things like, hey, I want to know the best way to prepare eggs in the morning. I don't know. Hey, we'll figure it out, and we will get, bring you the, the best information that we can bring. So, see guys. You, T. Good, Rich. T. Good, we see you. You the man. We love y'all. Have an amazingly blessed day, guys. Love we you guys. love y'all. We'll see you.